Now let's talk about empirical and molecular formulas. And in chemistry, we have two types of formulas. That is, as you notice from the title, empirical formulas denoted by EF for simplicity and molecular formulas. <clears throat> well, empirical formulas are simplified, so simply fied formulas of compounds. For example, C3H8. So this compound cannot be simplified more, while molecular formulas such as the formula of C6H16. This compound can be simplified more, so it becomes C3H8. You divide by 2. So this is the empirical formula, this is the molecular formula. So the empirical formula is basically a simplified formula of the compound. Well, let's demonstrate this by an example. Well, it says here, a sample contains 0.24 grams of carbon, 0.38 grams of fluorine, 1.4 grams of chlorine. And he asks you, write the empirical formula. Well, the first thing you need to do is list your, uh, your elements. So you have carbon, you have fluorine, and you have chlorine. Now write the given. So 0 0.24 grams, 0 0.38 grams, 1.42 grams. Now the next step you need to do is calculate the number of moles. And how do we do that? As we learned in the past videos, you need to, mo to divide by the molar mass. So let's divide 0 0.24 divided by 12, 0 0.38 divided by 19, 1.42 divided by 35.5. And what do we get? So we get 0 0.02. 0 0.02 also and finally 0 0.04 now we can't have decimals in the number of moles we have to make those numbers as a whole number so you multiply by 100 to get 2 and here also multiply by 100 you get 2 multiply by 100 you get 4 now simplify this Divide by the common factor, which is 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. Now we're going to get 1, 1, and 2. So that's the ratios of the elements. So you have CfCl2, and that's your empirical formula. So... This is for empirical formulas. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to get the empirical formula from the molecular formula. So stay tuned and good luck.